Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this light and airy summer blouse. To get started, you'll need 4 yards of fabric. I think I could have gone with 3 yards, but I always like to buy extra in case things don't work out. But as always, you may need more or less depending on your size. I found this beautiful fabric from Joanne. It has embroidered scallop edges on both sides and is super lightweight, so it's perfect for warmer weather. To get started, I draped the bodice on my dress form. I decided on a V-shaped neckline and added a dart under the bust pointing towards the apex. Since I want the top to be loose fitting, I gave myself extra room towards the waist instead of making it perfectly fitted. The backside was simple to draft because there are no darts, I just gave it a deeper V-shaped neckline for a more open back. If you're not good at draping or don't have a dress form, you can always use a top you like at home to trace and create your pattern. After marking out my design, I lay the fabric down and true up my markings and add seam allowance all around before cutting it out. The one I'm cutting out right now is actually my sample and once I try it on and make any adjustments, I can cut out the final pieces. Once the front and back pieces are cut, I start with sewing the darts closed. Then face the two front pieces together and sew the center closed. And then do the same thing to the back side so you'll have one full front and one full back piece. Face the front and back pieces right sides together and sew along the shoulder and side seams. Since the fabric is transparent, I created a second top to use as the lining. Face the two tops right sides together and sew all the way around the neckline. After turning the top inside out, you'll notice that the edges don't lay nice and flat. To fix that, clip the curves and corners to release tension, but be careful to not clip too close because you might cut the stitching. Then understitch the entire neckline so the lining stays down. I actually wish I added some lightweight interfacing to stabilize the neckline even more since this fabric is really thin. Next, cut a piece of fabric that is 12 inches tall, and the length of it should be at least two times your waist measurement, so we can create some gathers. Sew two rows of basting stitch along the top and evenly gather the fabric. Fold the gather piece in half and sew down the open side. Don't worry about it fitting around the waist of the top yet because you can continue to adjust the gathering when you pin it around the waist. And then once it fits, go ahead and sew it to the top. Make sure to remove any basting stitches from the gathering and now we can create the sleeves. First, I lowered my armhole just a little bit so that the sleeves can be more loose-fitting and wide. Then, fold your fabric in half and lay the shoulder seam on the fold. When quickly creating sleeves, I kind of just wing it and trace the shape of the armhole. And then, as I get towards the bottom, I curve it in like how an actual sleeve pattern would look like. After drawing out the sleeve, open it so that it's no longer on fold and fix the shape of it. Once again, I did make a sample sleeve first and altered it to fit my top. It's never perfect on the first try and the longest part is always perfecting your pattern. Once everything fits, cut out two sleeves, fold them in half and sew down the sides. Then pin it around the armhole and sew it together. If your sleeve ends up having extra material and doesn't fit perfectly around the armhole, you can sew a basting stitch around the top curve and ease it in, which is completely normal. Lastly, I decided to create some straps to cinch in the waist and tie in the back. Cut out 2 inch wide strips on the bias, fold them in half, and sew straps that are 3 eighths to a half inch wide. I turned the straps inside out using a loop turner. I'll link all the supplies I use in my description box, so check that out if you're interested.
To attach the straps, I just folded the raw edge under and top stitched it at the sides so that the straps are going towards the back. Adding ties at the waist is nice because this means this top could fit different sizes. You can choose to wear it fitted or loose and you won't need a zipper to get in and out of it. And we're finished. Here is the finished look.